Hi, welcome you all to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, in this video, I would like to explain you how to split the data into different sheets year-wise. If you look into this data set, having so many columns, serial number, company, location, date, sales. Even in the date column, it is from 2000, 2000 year till 2022 are available. Now, if I want to get 2000 year all records at one place, then I want to keep in, in the next sheet 2001 related data, then 2002 related data and so on. Then what I am going to do, that's what you can watch in this video. Now I'll simply keep one column here called year. As you all know, year is the function which can give me a year from this serial number. Serial number is nothing but the date. Now let me enter, copy and paste. Now I will select this entire data. Anyway, this is a continuous data without even selecting. Just go to the insert, click pivot table. By default, it selects the entire data. I want to insert a pivot table in the new worksheet. Just click OK. Once you keep the cursor into the pivot table layout, you will find one pivot table fields pane. Along with that, you will also get two extra contextual tabs called pivot table analyze and design. If you keep the cursor outside the pivot table layout, this pivot table field list pane and the contextual tabs will, contextual tabs will disappear. Let me keep the cursor here. Now I want to split based on the year. So let me keep the year in the filter. So that in the filter, you can find all the individual years. Now I want to get all the columns. So keep all the columns one after other in the rows. Serial number, company, location. Then after that date, by default date will get group. If you want to ungroup it, just do control Z so that the ungroup will happen. Now, let me take even the sales after date. Let me keep the date. Let me keep the sales after the date. I am requesting you all. You should keep one below other in the rows itself. But this is not in the shape of record. Everything is coming one below other. Not a problem. You can go to the design. You first go and uh, click don't show subtotals. Click grand totals command drop down. Click offer rows and columns. I don't want any grand totals. Report layout by default it is in the compact form. I want to put into the tabular form without doing anything. In the same report layout, repeat all item labels if any. Now select all the columns. You can simply do auto fit. I don't want these buttons should appear. I can go to pivot table design. I can just click this plus or minus button so that these buttons will not appear. And also I don't want the format should be like this. If you look into the border downside, it is only for the serial number. The font is uh, board, uh, bold only for company column and date column and so on. What I wanted to do, I will go to the design. I will take the pivot table styles. I will select the first one, none. So that this absolutely look like a range. Now you can select the headers, give bold. Now I will use an option called report filter pages. That option you can find at the pivot table analyze. Then you can go, you can click the drop down of options. Then you are having an option called show report filter pages. Once you click this, you will be finding here in the list only one field that is year because if you look here into the filters i kept only the year field the meaning of show report filter pages means each individual item in the filter field please give me into separate page in microsoft excel page is nothing but the worksheet if i can click ok just observe the worksheets automatically all unique worksheets will be created with each item are nothing but the label in the year filter. 
if I click OK, wonderful. It has created all the sheets with the name 2000, 2001, 2002 and so on. If you want the formatting should happen properly, simple. Select all sheets, select everything. Then you can just adjust the auto fit column width. Then you can deselect any of the sheet. Now you check it out. 2000 is there. 2001 is there. 2003 and so on. You got all the records. But last record is sales data. This is nothing but the pivot table. Let me change the name of this pivot table. Uh, sheet the color of the pivot table. Let me put this color as a green color. Now what I wanted to do. I don't want the first two rows in every sheet except the PT and the sales data because I want only the records but now I don't want any of the above two. Now let me right click, select all sheets. I want to deselect these two sheets of PT and sales data, hold the control key, deselect sales data, hold the control key, deselect the PT. You cannot delete the first two rows now because the first row is part of your pivot table. As you all know, you cannot change the part of the pivot table. That means you cannot delete or you cannot insert something in between the pivot table and so on. So to overcome the problem, I will select everything. I'll do control C. I'll do paste special. I will just make this entire pivot table and I'll paste it as a value. Automatically, the formatting disappeared because it was a pivot table format and also the date column by default appear as a serial number. No problem. What I am going to do now, I will select the first two rows. I will delete these two rows. Then I will select the date column. I will go to the home tab. I will give this into the short date. Now let me select the headers. Control B. I made it bold. Now, if you observe carefully, I have done all these activities by selecting all the sheets except PT and sales data. The meaning is the formatting changes whatever I have done that will apply for all the sheets which I have selected. Whatever the deletion I have done the top two rows that will apply for all the sheets. Whatever the copy paste I have done that apply for all the sheets. Now if I can deselect sheets any of the sheet basically now you can see all sheets got deselected now you got all 22 sheets 23 sheets i'm sorry 2000 year all the records 2001 2002 2003 2004 and so on this is about splitting the data year wise without using microsoft visual basic application without using any power query and so on. Let me give you another bonus trick. Let me copy the same data, open another Excel file. Let me do control V out of it column width. Now I don't want just year wise, but I want to get year and quarter wise. I want to get 2000 Q1, 2001 Q2, 2000 Q2, 2000 Q3 and so on till 2022 Q4. I want to split the data year and quarter wise. Then what I need to do, it is very simple. Let me write the formula to get year and quarter. I can simply put it year of this date join with, I want to have quarter, right? iPhone Q because this is a text which is required. Again, join with, I want to know which quarter it belongs to. So what I'll be doing, I will use a function called round up. Then I'll extract the month number, month of this. Then I'll divide with this three, then comma zero. So that whatever the month, for example, in this case, it is fourth month, four divided by three is approximately 1.33. Then 1.33 towards the upside, I want to round up. So with the nearest decimal. So the meaning is if I can select this, you will find it too because this is belongs to the second quarter. Considering I'm following the calendar year as a financial year. Now, if I just enter, copy and paste, you will get the year and quarter. 
Now do the same. Select this entire data. Go to the insert quickly. Insert a pivot table. Click OK. Take the year quarter into the filter. Take all the fields in the rows one below other. Location then date by default that group it. I don't want to group. So do control Z. Now come back and add the sales field also. As I mentioned, this is not into the proper format. Go to the design. I don't want subtotals. I don't want grand totals. I want to keep it into the tabular form. I want to fill all the item labels. I want to just go to pivot table analyze. I don't want any buttons. Let me select this entire data. Let me double click this so that columns auto fit. Now let me close this pane. Now I want to get into the design of light color like this. Then let me give the bold for this. Now I will go to the analyze. I'll go to options drop down. Get show report filter pages. There is an option. Let me click this. Year quarter is the field. It is trying to keep it into each sheet. Now let me click. Okay. For each year, four quarters, that means 23 into four, those many sheets will appear with that respective extract of the data. Without doing anything, I will simply select all the sheets, select everything, out of it column width. Now keep the cursor here. Now deselect. Now let me go to the last sheet. I want to go to the last sheet. Let me keep this as a PT because it's a pivot table. Let me keep this as a data. Now I don't want these two sheets, but I want to select everything. So select here, right click, select all sheets, hold control key, click data, click PT. So whatever the changes you do now, that means you are doing for all the sheets. Now select everything. First, let me convert this pivot table into the simple range. Control C, paste special values. Let me click OK. Wonderful. Now, I don't want first two rows. Select the first two rows. Delete. It's happening for every sheet. Select this first row. Put in the bold. Select the D column. Go to the home tab. Convert this into the short date. Again, select everything, just double click column out of it. Then you can deselect it by selecting any of the other sheet. Now, if you look into the first sheet, let's start scrolling from the first sheet. The first, first sheet is 2000 Q1, 2000 Q2 and so on. You have all the sheets. Now your data got segregated into each respective year and quarter data. That's all in this video. See you all in the next video. Thank you so much.